Okay, so this is just going to be a video on a plugin called Radius Markers and using it inside TOB. So you can see there, um, yes, this is completely on rune light. Um, those two aggro nylos were highlight. And then right as the highlight goes away on the ground, even after it's dead, five ticks after it's dead, you get to see t the, um, the big splits indicator. And we can see here another two aggros and they are true tile indicators. So when we watch them kill this one, uh, you'll see the two, right as that disappears, the two smaller ones come out, and there they are there, the mage and the melee that come out. The next thing that this plugin does as well is um, it'll show you the, uh, the pop range for the crabs in Verzik. So... As you can see there, that NPC tag on them is one tile bigger, which is, you've got to be standing next to that before they'll pop. So that was on P2, and this is just an example on P3 that I was just spectating in this random raid. Alright, so let's take a look at the plugin itself. Um, if you want to just set this up yourself, there's two things that you need. Unlike the normal NPC tagging, basically all this plugin lets you do is just extend out how far the NPC tag is. So like on the crabs on Nilo, instead of being exactly where the Nilo is, it just extends it out a range and shows you its true tile. But it works differently instead of like shift right clicking or typing the name, um, it goes off ID. And that works in our favour in the Nilo Crab Room because only the aggressive ones become aggressive. Once they come off that web, they get a different NPC ID. Um, so as you can see, that's a cow and that's a cow. And if I was to tag all cows with this plugin, it highlights it, but it's a completely separate cow. Um, so if we only want to tag this type of cow, for instance, we would come in radius markers and what I actually recommend that you do when you come in here is untick everything. Absolutely everything, just untick all of it. Uh, except for, I've just got interaction range left as the one that I would, left as the one that I tick on. But I guess it, it's technically attack range. But I just leave it as interaction range. Um, and then you get this little plug in here on the side. So that's radius markers. So NPC ID to show the ID and radius markers. Now we're going to make a NPC ID, but we only want this uh, this cow here, not the 2793, just 2790. So now that we've unticked everything and we've only got the one option, uh, we'll make a new one. Those extra options just allow you to put more attack ranges, but you basically only ever need one. So 2790. If you look at that, we've got our crab, I mean, our cow marked with uh, an extra one tile of distance around the NPC itself. So you can see there we've got one tile around it, and we can make that as big as as small as we want. So 10 tiles, I actually use this at Nex to see the, um, the max range of the T-bow. Um, which is fairly nice there, but that's just another example of where this plugin's used. But until I set all this stuff up last night, um, yeah, basically didn't even use this plugin because Next is dead. All right, so now I'll just show some screenshots for all these other settings because it, yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. But that's how you set it up if you want to set it up for more NPCs inside theater than I than I have. All right, so here's the settings for big splits. You can see the interaction range is set for zero because we only want to highlight them. And then these are exactly the same interaction range set for zero, but these are your aggro, so you want to mark them as red. These are for the crabs that you want the popping range to have a distance of one. So I've got them set as blue, and then these are the ones for hard mode.